Hello friends, today we will learn how to load the element entry details using SDLs. So, first we will open the person for which we are going to load the element entry details. So for this, please navigate to the person management. So click on the person management then search for the respective person number here we are searching for xx test 1 click on the search below you will get the result details click on open that particular person you will get all the employment details for that person so here you can see all the employment details for this xx test 1 person so for the element entry please navigate to the task panel then for payroll section you can find element entries click on the element entries so here you can see there are no element entries attached to this person or assignment so now we are going to load one element entry for this assignment or person so for this we are loading one element called named as housing allowance expat this is the element name so for this element we are going to lo load the details for it for this we require the assignment number An assignment number we can find on employment tab assignment number is xx test underscore assign one so we'll note it down here assignment number so these two details we required to load the data now we will close this page and develop our hdl or element entry dot that file so we'll close this once we close this we'll see the sample template this is the sample template for element entry dot that file these are all the required details like effective end date effective start date then element name legislative data group multiple entry count entry type assignment number then source system owner source system id and replace last effective flag so these are the required details for element entry record in for element entry value effective end date is there then effective start date is there then input value name screen entry value assignment number element name legislative data group element entry id which is the source id for above record which is element entry record so source system id we are mentioning for element entry id then we will load the source system owner source system id and replace effective end date so now for this we required all these details like element name and assignment number and for element entry values we require input values and one more require one more attribute is required is legislative data group so for this employee as this employees belongs to us legislative data group so we are passing ldg or legislative data group as us legislative data group so now for entry value details we required the input values so input value for this uh, element we are passing periodicity for periodicity we are passing the value as periodically and periodically's lookup code is prd then we are passing the amount and amount and the value should value is 100 then we will pass the process separate separately 
value for this is y so all th these three de details or input values we are passing in entry value details element entry value details so now let's start the developing or building our ldt file metadata is merged then object name after the metadata we mentioned the object name is element entry then and enter the effective end date which is end of the time effect then effective start date which is 6th of april 2021 which is yesterday's date by passing effective start date as 6th of april 2020 and element name copied from our excel which we have going to load as housing allowance expert so copy this from in and paste it over here then legislative data group name again legislative data group is us legislative data group so enter over here then another is multiple entry count we are passing it as null then mention the entry type entry type as we are passing element entry so entry type should be the e then pass the assignment number so copy it from the excel and paste it in our l dat file then mention the source system owner as we are all aware that our source system owner is xx test then mention the source system id so source system id is xx test entry 2 so you can mention any source system id as per your convenience but it should be unique for this record then we are passing null for replace last effective end date now we will prepare the file for element entry values so metadata should be the merge then object name and effective end date and start date we have copied from above record then input value name is first we are passing input value as periodicity then screen entry value is value for that periodicity is prd so we are mentioning here prd as screen entry value then mention the assignment number which is xx test underscore assign one then mention the element name as housing allowance expat copy it from our record then mention ldg is us legislative data group then here we are passing element entry id which is source id so copy it the source id from our record which is xx test underscore entry 2 for the reference for which record we are going to load the element entry values so we are passing the reference of element entry then source system owner is xx test and the source system id for this record is xx test underscore entry val entry value 4 again this should be the unique for the element entry values and you can pass as per your convenient and we are passing null for replace last effective end date so as we already said that we are passing three input values so one is already we have entered so for the rest of the two amount and process separately by just copying all the all these details and paste for two times and change the input value name in screen entry value and source system id so changing the input value as amount then screen entry value for amount is 100 then again input value third input value process separately so entering this third input value as process separately in our ldt file and the value for this is y now one more thing we have to change the source system id for this two records because this should be unique for the each record so 
so we are mentioning as 5 and the 6 so in this manner we have developed our element entry dot that file loader file is completed now this save this loader file you know you need a local machine and make it zip file we are zipping it give the appropriate name now open the application so here open the application now go to the home page and open the data exchange to load this the same loader file so navigation is my client group then data exchange click on the data exchange now click on the import and load data once you click on the import and load data you will find all the details of earlier data set so we'll import our loader file so click on the import file and upload that file click on open submit this this request is submitted click on ok so click refresh to check our file is in progress or not so once you click on refresh you will find our element entry dot zip file is in process so import is import status is in process so it means our file is in import status so it's in process so click on the refresh to check if it's imported successfully or not So after refresh you can see there are total four lines we are passing in that file as we know one is element entry record and three are the element entry values record so total number of lines are four the still import status is in process so after the refresh you can find import this file has been successfully imported so once you click on the refresh import status is in green so now load status is in progress so it means file has been successfully imported and now load loading is in process click on the refresh to check if its file has been successfully loaded or got error out yeah you can find after refresh the file has been successfully loaded so all the records has been loaded for that respective person so if you again refresh the page it will give the load status is in green it means it is successfully loaded it's taking quite some time due to some network issue yeah the load status is in green so we'll verify that particular person and check for those element entries loaded successfully or not it should load it successfully as per the status so we'll verify that for that navigate to the person management and surf, search for our person number which is xx test one 
so open the person management and search the respective person number which is xx test 1 click on the search and open that person detail record open the person record you can see employment details to see element entries are loaded or not go to the task panel payroll section and then element entries in payroll section you can find element entries then click on the element entries here you can see element entries are successfully loaded for housing allowance expat will open the housing allowance ex expat here you can see whatever we pass through the loader file it has been successfully loaded into the system as housing element name is housing allowance expat then entry type is e then assignment number and the amount amount is 100 so likewise you can load multiple element entries for multiple assignments using one element entry file so we'll check the costing there is no costing as we know we have not loaded the costing so likewise we can load the limit entry details so we are closing this so you can pass multiple element entries for multiple person or even for single person you can load the multiple element entry like this thank you